You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for another crazy kit. It's been a while since I've been able to actually make something, and this is a the waffle set. And it looks like it has strawberry and blueberries, which I'm thinking they're blueberries, which you normally have on a waffle, which is good, and strawberries. And there's no microwave oven on this, so it's no cooking. If it was supposed to be cooked, it would show a microwave and the time. What I see here now, just by looking at it and kind of holding it there for everyone to see, is there's uh, different, there's one, two, three, four packs maybe, and then those are the compartments you mix them in or prepare them in, and all this gets cut up. So there's a lot of cutting to do on this set, and then just follow along, and there you go. So let me get it out of the packaging. And yes, I know I can rip it, but I do it this way so I can keep the packaging as intact as possible. And then, so we have a orange pack. That's the waffle itself. This purple pack. Uh, a pink pack. And then the blue pack. So what I like to do now is I regroup here, make sure I get all my packs in the right order and get started with the set and also get some water. I gotta do that, I'll be right back. All right, here we go, I am all set. So there's lots of cuts on this tray and it breaks off into a lot of pieces. So let me just get started here. Well, let me cut the water off. That seems to be the easiest one to always cut. So I'll put that by my water bowl. And then it looks like they give you lines and sections to cut out. Okay, and this all comes out now, and I'll just do these two trays real quick. Who's done this set before? Leave it in the comments. Is this one of your favorite sets? This is my first time ever doing it, so we'll see what happens. I was studying the directions like I normally do to try to get a better understanding of you know, how it all works. I notice you're going to end up with two waffles. And it looks like you mix it separately. Like you do one and then the other, as opposed to all at one time. Okay. Well, that looks like a tray. I don't see any more cut lines around that one. It's nice because it, it'll stand up on its own. And then this is a tray here. This is what makes the little grapes. Oh, sorry, blueberries. At least I think they're blueberries. All right, let me cut this one down here. And then yes, it looks separate from the rest. So I'm gonna finalize this cut. It's like a little tray just for one, two, three, four, five blueberries. Let me show you the back because there's stars, star indentations on there. And here's the back of the waffle. Now the waffle, looks like I need to follow this a little bit better because it's almost like a little waffle iron press. because I'm gonna actually fold this now. There's little arrows here. Oh. Fold it this way. No, fold it this way. There's my press. Okay, that's done. There's a tray. That's your main mixing tray. Water, all set. Well, normally I clean up, so let me clean up some of the plastic and come right back. All right, so I just moved some things around. I put my associated uh, molds with the little section I'm going to need. So this goes with this. This is going to go with this. This gets remixed, I believe, in this one. And I actually, I think this one also gets remixed in this one, so I'm going to have to wash that. And then I notice there's a bottom line, so I'm assuming now and guessing that's where the first amount of powder goes. It looks like there's enough powder in here to make the two of them. And you just fill this up, and it says one scoop of water. So let me see. 
You see if it's about half. I'm going to say that is about half. So tamp it down. You see that line in there? I'm pretty close. Maybe a little bit more. Let me see if that's enough. That's pretty good. I think I'm just going to go a tiny bit, just so I'm as close to that line as possible, so each of them is done just right. Okay, there you go. Off to the side, let me get my little mixer, one scoop of water. Now these little scoopers, let me show you, I think I've shown you in the past, have a little funnel area you can pour out of that. There you go. Now we're making our first waffle ball shape. Consistency. I will need to wash this after I make these two before I go to the grape stuff. I will wash them. Uh, wash the little container that is, not them. Say that's pretty good. That needs to be a little ball. I'll just press it and move it over here. So let me get the second one ready. Look at that. It fits real nice in there for the second one. Now we do it again. Didn't mean to put that in there. So then after this step, I'm going to wash it and then prepare the grapes and get those set. We're just going to work our way right through all the steps. It's nice to be able to make little food again. I had missed uh, this part of the Japanese Food Maker series because we did some other kits, like the Cori kits, which were a little different. You know, everything was prepared for you, and then you just, you know, assembled, basically. So now I get to mix it and assemble it. So they actually have you forming the waffles next. Everything seems to want to come out. Little piece. All right. I'm just going to keep pressing and mixing and pressing and mixing until I think we're close, which I think we are. Okay, so this is the second one. Just gonna press it in my hands, and yes, I wash my hands thoroughly before I start all of these sets. Okay, so I'm gonna go clean that out. Let me get these set here, and they look to be really nice and even in size. So now here is to make my waffles. I'm gonna do that next. So it looks like you, you know, get it started in the mold. and then press for the rest, but we'll do it this way. Okay, here we go. So 
Not bad. Let me just close that again. That last one in there is hard to get. You gotta kinda press further here. Let's see if I can get some of this out of there. Ah, nice. Retain that heart shape. Let me move this onto this packet. And see how easy it is to come out. Ooh, nice. Okay, so there's my first one. I can clean that up in a little bit. And let's get to the second one. I'll do the same thing. We're moving right along, see? I will say it smells good. Yeah, it smells like, hmm, like cookies, like wafer cookies is what it smells like to me. And number two. There you go. Get them. Maybe I can squeeze them both on here. Okay. So I'm going to do a little cleanup, wash this out, come back, and then uh, we'll do the next step. Ooh, something to eat. Be right back. Okay, step number two, actually number three. Step number two is shaping. Step number one is the was the making of the waffle batter. So step number three now is getting these little, I'm calling them blueberries, but we'll see what everybody says in the comments. So you just cut the end off. And you're mixing it now in the larger tray. And one scoop of water is what I see, and that's what I'm going to do. This is basically making a little gummy. It sounds so gritty when you're doing it. I don't know if it, it, it you know, it shun, uh, comes through the audio on the camera, but you get that gritty, crunchy sound. So that's what it looks like. It's a nice consistency of like a gummy mix. We've done a lot of different gummy sets together, have we not? So we kind of know what that is. And it says to just kind of scoop it in with your little tool into each little area here. But let me do it on this so that I can keep everything clean here, hopefully. So here we go. Looks like there's going to be quite a bit extra. Here's where other molds from previous kits would come in handy, because look at all that. I don't have anything handy, otherwise I'd put it in another mold, but I've got to let these now become gummy. So let me clean this out, come back, and we'll do the next step. All right, here we go. I'm kind of uh, gathering my component pieces here, the waffles and then the little blueberries, grapes, whatever you want to call them. And the next step is this blue packet, which makes like a, what I would call, like if I was having a waffle whipped cream, so I'm kind of thinking that's what they're going for here. You put a big dollop on the top of your waffle. And then one scoop of water. Okay. Then mix that up. Oh, it's making like a foamy... A foamy stuff foamy stuff. That's what you want to call it. See, it's kind of foamed up now. So now they show it next to the next to the waffle. Let me taste that. These did taste very grapey to me. Uh, yeah, see, they so, show it next to the waffle. But here in the USA, you get a huge mound on the top of your waffle. I'll just make this make this one next, so I got it. This is the strawberry topping. 
and that just gets uh, put on, you know, with the little tool you've got. We're getting there. I'm almost ready to make it all happen. I'm going to make my waffles two ways. The way I'd make it here in the USA, if I was going somewhere for breakfast and ordering a giant waffle, and then I'll make it like the picture, so I have two versions of it. Okay, I think that's good. Everything's had time to set now. This has had time to set. So here we go. All right, so first they show it off to the side of one of them. Okay, and I'm going to do it the way I would normally eat a waffle, a big pile on top. All right. Not much of a taste in it. It's got a little sweetness to it, but not a ton of taste. Then they show like a zigzag pattern along the waffle. Ooh, I caught it just in time. Had to eat that. a little slower now that I know I can't put a lot on but if I work it a little and they have it dripping off the sides in different spots see and then it comes up a little bit dripping off of here ah oh. I'll do the blueberries in just a second let me see if I can change my angle just a little here and then this one here, I'm going to do this one a little bit different. I'll be a little less formal here. Just like if you get a waffle here in the USA, it's just all over. Ooh, look at that. Look tasty. Can't wait to try these. Okay. So I have two waffles now. now. Let's check these. See how easy the little grapes come out. I know I keep saying grapes, but they could be blueberries. You wouldn't normally put grapes on waffles. So here's one. Oops, upside down. There we go. It fell in the divot. It looks like I could put three on each one. So that's what I'll do. Two. Actually, they have three on one and two on the other. Just, they just kind of scoop right out of your little tool. And they show one right off to the side off the waffle and then I'm uh, I'm calling them a waffle because that's what I think they are I'm gonna plop this one right on the top doesn't it look like that's where it needs to go Ooh, look at that all right I think that's all that one needs I'm gonna stick this one on this one here right in the middle okay I did it so let me uh, clean everything up, come back, taste one for you, tell you what it's like. All right, so I brought in a little cup of coffee so I can sip it after I take my bite. And uh, in the comments, which one would you rather take a bite of first? I think I'm going to save this one. I like it with the grape blueberry on top. So I'm going to do this one here, and I'll cut off a little piece. 
the component pieces, I tried each one individually as us, you know, making it happen. So here we go. That looks like a nice bite. I'm going to give it a shot here. You taste the strawberry. You taste the waffle. Like I said, it's like a it's like a wafer cookie flavor, so it's good. Overall, very tasty. Probably one of the nicest tastes I've ever seen out of one of these kits. And we've done quite a few. So I'm going to have one more bite. Here we go. I'm going to do it the same way. I'll cut it up. One little section of my waffle. Now we have more stuff for you, so more kits on the way. It's a bigger bite this time. Look at that. See if I can stab that. Here we go. Super tasty. So that is the crazy heart-shaped waffle kit. And if you like these kinds of videos, there'll be a playlist in the description. Or as always, search our channel. And thanks to everybody who's supporting Lucky Penny Shop, following through all these series that we're doing. It's really appreciated. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.